Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down Level Up, and today we are here to review the Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Siege Defense footage released at Gamescom 2016. But first I wanted to tell you about something else. I have recently come across a very, very cool um, Steam group on Steam called Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. It's basically just a fan group for everyone who's interested in the game. There are over 16,000 people in this group to, sh to talk to and share ideas. And this group keeps you updated with announcements and events coming up relating to the game. It even does giveaways every once in a while with copies of the game and other things. So if you want to talk to me or others or people in the community, make sure to join the Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord fan group on Steam. In other news, let's get back to the video. Now let me just now say I have been really anticipating some more footage of this game, even though there's been already uh, a ton. <laughs> there's been a lot. We had the other Siege footage, we had just normal gameplay, we had a couple battles going on. Um, and so I had actually had a, quite a lot of expectations for this, and I mean honestly this was a little bit mediocre for me, like it was basically just another siege, um, which we'd already seen. We got to see a couple more angles, troop, we got to see a couple more troop types and things like that, um, but there wasn't too much different, but it was still cool because we got to see a new castle, um, we got to see more engine, we got to see um, a lot of troops in line and stuff, it was really cool. And Mountain Blade also on their Facebook page posted this today, seven hours ago. They said, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord has arrived at Gamescom 2016. Enjoy this video and look forward to more tomorrow. So there is probably going to be more footage tomorrow showcasing the game. Whether this is going to be more siege footage or whether this is going to be just um, possibly even like, I don't know. I really want to see multiplayer. I want to see like maybe them choosing some fans in the crowd and then getting up on the stage and having a big battle. That'd be pretty sick. I don't know though, but there is definitely going to be more footage tomorrow. Look at this engine. And so, Mountain Blade had to develop their own engine for this game. They, they're not using any others, they're using their own custom one. And I think they pro probably did that too with uh, Warband, but I can't remember. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but this game is made on their own custom engine that they made. Now that is probably the reason why this game took so long to come out because they really care about this game and they want it to do, they want it to be exactly how they want it and they want it to look exactly how they want it. They don't want to be restricted by some other engine that they don't use or know very well. Um, but look at this, look at the shaders, look at the lighting, it's amazing. It's insane how even the best engines of today can't even achieve this the small custom engine developed by a small little company in a car turkey you know it's insane so what we have here in the defense are 91 foot soldiers 38 archers and 53 horsemen um and this is a batanian castle um actually this is dungalis so this is kind of close to the um big lake um i, I had gun dungalis in one of my theory videos a while back and they're being attacked by the western empire so you, you might like me get that mistaken with Valandia because Valandia is the westernmost country. Valandia is not part of the empire. Um, it is its own thing even though it is the westernmost country. So it is not Valandia versus Batania here. It is Batania versus the western empire which is the orange country that is on the overhead map. Setting up catapults and ballistas like we saw in the attack video. Except now we're seeing it setting up on the defense. As we hold out against an army also want to point out, this castle looks so tel Celtic. They did a really good job. Look at these green suits too. It looks amazing. Um, and this shield, this orange, uh, this round green shield. It looks very, very Celtic, very, very, uh, very Irish. Oh, and coming up here, we got to see um, the actual footage of them throwing rocks down at the people, the attackers. Now these attackers seem to go down really easy, like they, I think they maybe made it a little bit more realistic with the arrow shooting, um, like he's taking these guys down with one shot. Um, and it seems to be very realistic like that. But I also wanted to point out that those um, Western Empire guys look really badass. Whoever no who else noticed that? Look at those like higher, to higher tier troop guys, they look freaking awesome. Little glitch there, the guy multiplied into two bodies and uh, he's stuck in the wall, but that's okay, it's an early access game. Or it's not early access, it's the early version of the game. 
Now the catapults coming over the walls looks amazing again. That engine is insane. And look at all those troops out there. There's like two huge rows. I'd say back at the original Warband, just that one front row behind the um, behind the battering ram was a large army. Now this, this is like two or three or four times that size. Now see him shooting the um, guys pushing the, the battering ram. This rose a question with me. What happens when the defenders destroy the battering ram and the siege tower and uh, stop the guys from coming up the ladders? Does that just make the defense have to retreat? Does, is there just no chance? Or are there going to still be a way to possibly get in the castle? Can they still beat down the door without the battering ram? So if you're attacking and you accidentally mess up where you lose all your equipment, um, is that just going to be a bloodbath for you? So that might be something you have to be careful about. See, look, these guys are going down to one shot, and they have got big helmets and everything. Oh, we finally get to see footage of them throwing the rocks down. That looks so amazing. He's got kind of a, a beer gut, though. Gotta be said. Now, this was one little problem I saw with uh, this um, footage here. Um, when he goes down and fights at the door... It's very, very similar to the Warband thing where all the troops just get kind of stuck in a big pile and um, don't know what to do, really. So they defeat them at the uh, Siege Tower, and he rallies them, which is awesome. He can rally the troops to follow him. He rallies them to come down here and fight with him at the door so they don't lose the door. And look at that city, too. It goes up onto the mountain and everything. It's beautiful. Look at these Batanians. What are they wearing? They're wearing, like, scale armor. Um, looks like chainmail with like leather helmets and stuff. They look pretty badass. Now see what I mean here. He's getting kind of stuck in the in the group, and I'm pretty sure you can tell here in a sec that he like tries to turn around and leave, but he can't because he's just so surrounded by troops trying to get into the fight. Um, and so you know we've seen a few few problems, a few little, little bugs here and there. See, he tried to turn around there. He's like, fuck, I can't. I can't get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in here. Um, so you see this battle. It's, it's pretty awesome though. Like even though it's kind of similar and you get stuck and pushed around and stuff, that's kind of what it was. Like you get in these just giant crowds. Like you know, have you seen, uh, <laughs> have you seen the Battle of the Bastards? It was just everyone was just stuck in a big pile, a lot like, <laughs> like uh, Mountain Blade. So it's not that far off, um, but could be a little annoying when playing the game. This battle ensues for a while. Um, he gets quite a few kills. Looks like he has a one-handed axe and a, and a shield, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see the higher-up tier troops in the Western Empire. They've got golden helmets and looks like face masks too, which is pretty awesome. So this is a really cool thing. The people flee. Even at the siege, they don't just keep attacking if there's like one guy left. They start fleeing and they run away and you can chase them down and stuff. That's a really cool feature. You see that one battalion just chasing them down the road. And look at all these bodies. This is amazing. I th I'm i pretty sure that they have disabled the body despawning or at least really limited it. I hope that if it is... Um, oh, we got a guy way out there. <laughs> um, I hope that it, if it is um, turned on, though, like body despawning, I hope that there's an option if you have a high uh, end enough PC that you can disable that. Look at what we got here. We got the um, victory uh, menu where it tells you about how many guys you lost, how many guys you killed, all that stuff. This is pretty cool. And on the bottom of the of the defending army, it says it shows the town name you're in. So if there was any um, troops uh, stationed there, it would show the army that was there. Um, and it shows like who got the most kills and stuff. Like it looks like a battalion clansman killed 15, um, a battalion archer killed five. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty sick, dude. Um, obviously, the attacker army suffered 228 casualties, and we only suffered, the battalion army only suffered 98. So um, yeah, it, it really goes into a lot more detail about um, how sieges are going to even work even further, which is cool because I think sieges are going to be the funnest minigame in the entire thing. So yeah. Thank you all for watching, guys. Um, if you agreed with anything I said or wanted to point out anything else, make sure to leave it in the comments. Um, big thing I'm worried about is um, 
is uh, body despawning because I really like to see all the bodies just on the ground everywhere to show like where the fighting was and how serious it got in certain areas and how the battle moved. It's just kind of like what I'm into and like stuff like that. So yeah, make sure to leave a like if you like this video, and a comment if you want to say something, and a subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. Peace.